Brinkman on the outside and they were followed then by Feeling Fit. High signals back behind them, awkwardly placed over on the rails and then came Daybreak Lover Kentish. Two links to Prolific moving up a little bit here from Kalim the Queen and last of all Count Ajax. At the 400, Truman and River Ruff joined now by Brinkman and River Ruff's taken the lead. Daybreak Lover moving up and High Signal's got out now if he's good enough. Clark's got a good hold on River Ruff at the 200. A length to High Signal coming out after him now. He calls on River Ruff for an extra effort. He's a half in front. High Signal's getting him. River Ruff in front but High Signal's wearing him down. It's close. River Ruff! He's fought back like the bulldog he is and has won at a nose to High Signal. Third feeling fit from Daybreak Lover... Well, this was the highlight of the whole day's racing, River Ruff's win. What tremendous courage and determination he shows, and he's won a number of races in narrow finishes. Nine wins and nine seconds from 21 starts. Also a good run by Feeling Fit, who was held up for a run and finished, I think he was finishing faster than anything else in the race. But all credit to River Ruff, a most consistent, courageous performer. Gee, I tell you what, Don, the second one will do me too. Certainly. This is race five, an easy win to Beechcraft. Pulls out three wide on Beechcraft. On the inside, Torbeck, and then Ikea to the outside of Disco Gambler. With 400 to go, and Beechcraft went up to join Bin Binger and Penny Edition. A length, Torbeck, Kia Mare, Ikea's gone, and Beechcraft took the lead. Beechcraft drew a length in front, 300 to go from Penny Gambler. He's drawing away. Kia Mare's running on, and then came Disco Gambler. But Beechcraft, well clear, he's going to canter in. Beechcraft up handy today, walks in a length and a half Kia Mare. Penny Gambler third from Torbeck. Don, they bet surprisingly they good bet, odds, Beechcraft. Bet nine to four, yes. Incredible. Unbelievable. Mm.